get into South Africa. We didn't know what was in there. That's why we decided we're not leaving. People are, might bring in guns, people might bring in contraband, people might bring in di dynamite, for all that we know. So we are asking of you. There are people that are getting paid big money to guard our borders. They are not here. They are sleeping. None of us are getting paid, but this country has given me a second chance. This country has given me everything. I'm asking you to please treat this as a matter of urgency. We don't want to embarrass nobody. All we are asking is that there's no one here. You got st a stretch here, the whole stretch, you got patriots standing, the whole stretch. There's absolutely no soldiers, there's absolutely no police, there's absolutely no security. So I'm from the bottom of my heart. This is not the way to run a country. Can you please do something about it? Our country is naked. Terrors are entering. Bombs might enter one of these days. Please do something about it. Please do something about it. You are putting the people of South Africa in great danger as a leader if you don't make them aware of dangers facing them. Salute. I'm part again of the night shift team. We've got hundreds of people on this border. There's no one here. From the Border Management Authority, we don't see soldiers here. There's no one here. Our country is naked. Forget politics for a second. Tonight I want to make a call on the President of our country, His Excellency Cyril Ramaphosa. Let's forget politics for a second. We have a problem. People were literally standing there with boxes and boxes trying to bring that into South Africa. We didn't know what was in there. That's why we decided we're not leaving. People are, might bring in guns. People might bring in contraband. People might bring in di dynamite for all that we know. So we are asking of you. There are people that are getting paid big money to guard our borders. They are not here. They are sleeping. None of us are getting paid. But this country has given me a second chance. This country has given me everything. I'm asking you to please treat this as a matter of urgency. We don't want to embarrass nobody. All we are asking is that there's no one here. You got st a stretch here. The whole stretch, you got patriots standing. The whole stretch. There's absolutely no soldiers. There's absolutely no police. There's absolutely no security. So I'm from the bottom of my heart. This is not the way to run a country. Can you please do something about it? Our country is naked. Terrors are entering. Bombs might enter one of these days. Please do something about it. Please do something about it. You are putting the people of South Africa in great danger as a leader if you don't make them aware of dangers facing them. Salute. Brother, let me be very frank with you. You have less than 24 hours to go back over the river that you came from. Okay, with the river, you that, go that's what respect, my brother. You know what it means? Have a harm, Have a harm, Have a harm, Out. That's what's going to happen tomorrow. So, leaders, we are on an operation today. We came here because a leader in, uh, let us know that he bought. Uh, stuff that was expired a year or two back. Um, so we came to check. We are going to make this an operation for this whole, this whole, the rest of the week. The rest of the week. Tomorrow also after that motorcade, we are going through to the shops. Um, it cannot continue like this, that they are taking our people for a one, not even a two. Social sensei, social sensei. Faster, 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 my commander, my wire. Faster, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend.
Ola wana kundo kundo kundo.